Welcome back to Slightly Less Tactical. Today we're going to see how these garden shovels hold up against some guns. We got 20 of them in a row right here. Sorry about the wind as usual. You guys are obviously set up nice and close. We got 20 of these garden shovels. We're going to see how they hold up to a variety of bullets. My 22 is still broken. Parts are on their way. So we're just going to start off with a 9mm and work our way up to a 12 gauge, some rifles. So let me get that set up. All right. We're gonna start off with the nine millimeter, 115 grain, full metal jackets out of a uh, Glock 19X. Hope I can hit it, here we go. Good hit. There it is, caught it. Let's go take a look. Looks like I had a good solid hit right there. One, two, three, four. Looks like it barely went through the fourth one. And the bullet landed right there. That is hot. So let's try uh, 40 cal. All right, we got the 40 cal loaded up. We're shooting 100, uh, 180 grain full metal jackets. I know what you guys are thinking, a 40 cal. Hey, we all bought onto that train when it came out. We all thought it was cool. I haven't shot this gun for a long time, so I'm gonna take some practice shots, see if I can even hit it. All right, enough practice. Let's see if we can hit these things. Hold on, I gotta turn you guys on up here. There we go. Try to keep you guys from missing it. There we go. Good miss right here. Yeah, it's a miss. Let's try again. There's a hit. Ah, got it. Up the safe, let's go take a look. Well, it looks like we hit pretty much right on that nine mil hit. There's the 40 cal, there's the nine millimeter. But one, two, three, four. Looks like it stopped in the fourth one. I don't see the bullet laying here anywhere though, so I just see pieces of it. So I'm gonna see if I can find it and then we'll move up to the 44 mag as usual. All right, we got the 44 mag here. We're shooting as usual, 240 grain uh, solid glass cat, uh, lead cast, <laughs> sorry. Here we go. I seen stuff flying anywhere. Everywhere I heard a ricochet, so. Let's see if those slowed it down at all. Let's see it moved all the way back. Looks like I went through the same hole as the 40 cal. Two. One, two, three, four. We got to the fifth one. Man, that's hot. Looks like it hit right there and then, I don't know, turned sideways? Cause it must've came out here, came along the wood, hit these ones, ripped the side out of them and kept going. You can see right here how it split all that wood up. All right, we're moving up to the AR-15, shooting 55 grain, full metal jacket. All right, here we go. Clear. Down. Let's go take a look. Hope the wind doesn't start blowing like that again. So I went through one, two, three, four. That round started tumbling real hard. Five, six, seven, and stopped on the eighth. That's all just from the uh, 44 mag. You see little pieces of that bullet. So it must have broke up and then just blew out the side there. Let's move up to the AK-47. All right, we got the AK-47 loaded up. We're shooting 230 grain uh, hollow points. I still haven't set the sight in, so we're probably gonna miss. Let's see what we can do here. Try to get close at least. I <laughs> got lucky, hit it. Let's go take a look. Looks like I hit it a little bit to the right. That's all right for no sights. Two, three, 
four, man. Look at that thing turning. What was that five? Looks like six broke off. Seven, eight, nine, eight. It looks like it followed that uh, 44. So we'll say right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, because one's gone. See if I can find it on the ground here and I'll show you. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at that. That 230 grain just tumbling. All right, we went through the AK 47. Next, we're going to hit, hit it with the 12 gauge I'm using a Mossberg with a double lot buckshot. Let's take a look here, see what happens. Let me make sure I turned you guys on. We're good. All right, here we go. Hope I don't hit my camera. Oh man, that was probably 40 yards back there. It's clear and safe, let's go take a look. There's some down there. Completely devastated that thing. Didn't hit these back ones though. I don't even know where they all went. Here's one. Look at that hit. <laughs> Broke all the handles off. There's another one. Seen a bunch fly back here. Let me go see if I can find it and I'll show you. Oh, here's one right here. Looks like it took a couple pellets to it. Let's go see if we can find that one that went way back here. There's one completely smashed it in, ripped it apart. Oh, there's another one back here. There it is, right there. So I don't know which one that is, but it has a bunch of holes in it. It must have flew 50 yards probably, 40 maybe. So let me clean this up and we'll talk again. So there you have it everybody. These cheap little hand shovels for gardening, they do stop bullets. You got, say, 10 of them, you can stop an AR-15, which is really surprising to me. But if anybody needs some handles for these gardening tools, let me know, and I will mail them to you for sure. And I have some extra gardening shovels too, if you need them. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this video. If you have any ideas, hit me up. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching Slightly Less Tactical. Stupid on my video. Right, yep, I'm going to look dumb.